Ah, so it's been materializing the world around me as I've been walking forward. Because that thing, that, that label showed up when I got here. But the back direction was a dead end, I believe. Oh yeah. If you look straight up, you can see the club where I saw Artemis. You can like actually follow the entire current environment in a loop. Which is neat. In addition to that being sticking out there and... It's crazy. And is that a shatter door? How do I talk to you again? <laughs> Alright, let's go. See if I can find something. So, how much longer before this armor is ready, Dr. Blair? Hard to estimate, but it's coming along. You know I'll be the one going. Kobe, stop it. It's not ready yet. Hayao can't. Artemis is too reckless. Jenny isn't tactical. Bricks will get lost. I'm your most reliable option. And the lieutenant. Kobe, you can't ask me to send someone unless I say the armor is functional. Is she holding off on making the armor functional on purpose because he's going to be the one that goes? Wow, that uh, screen got pretty messed up. Do I just keep looping? Until I find out how to make it work? Oh, it's you. You didn't do anything last time, I think. I think. Help here. Don't know if Brex can find what's wrong here. Now we want to go back to Brex, which we're on the opposite side from him now, I think. So we're going to go for a bit of a jog again. Oh, there he is. I need your help, Brex. Please? Please. Something is wrong with the power switch. It won't stay on. I'll check it. good i tweet the connections and force it into place i hope it works now yes thanks brex seems like brains and muscles working together can accomplish useful things can hardly complain about all the time you spend at the gym after that complain all you want it won't stop me from working out life will never again throw me into a situation that i'm not strong enough to handle i have a hard time believing that happened i wasn't always this big and I won't go back there. I got mixed feelings. On one hand, there's little textures of like the character having more depth to them than you'd expect and so on. Like little little reasons like like they, they thought to write the character in a way to be like, oh, he's he has this physique because he specifically works at it because he felt powerless before and he and he's fighting against that indefinitely. And it's like he's essentially motivated by fear and regret. Which is more interesting, but at the same time, our character has this whole relationship where like, oh, he, he's not even smart, he's just here for his muscles, and that's stupid, and he's stupid, everything's stupid. But like, that was the first time I met him in-game, and then a minute later our character was like, huh, maybe I was wrong about him. I'm like, I, isn't that supposed to be an arc that you have over the course of a story, instead of the first scene that character's in? Is is you? It's like you set the idea of you set the expectation, and then you subvert the expectation within the same scene for the character. So there just isn't really an arc and a development to it. It's just like you think that he'd be a meathead, but actually he's not a meathead. And the end—that's the whole story. And like, and that's in the first scene, let alone throughout one game or even multiple episodes of said game. Like, I don't know where they're gonna go from there, story-wise. If you just- if you get the arc out of the way immediately. Hello? So it has to be orange in the middle. It's supposed to be teal, teal, teal. Orange. Purple, purple, I think, yeah. Yellow, yellow. 
How does that work? Okay, just making sure. For a second there, I thought I thought it changed. I thought the uh, the color changed when I rotated it, like it uh, they were mixing or something. But I was imagining that. Okay. Wish I could see this a little better. Are these the same color? Oh, they are the same color. There was like an optical illusion happening, kind of. These are the same color. So the middle icon's red. Those are both yellows, da yellows down here, or orange or whatever. It looks more orange on these icons and more yellow in the diagram. So purple on the bottom. Top three have to be teal. Probably not going to be very easy to keep them there though, because those have to be rotated constantly. Uh oh! I just kind of accidentally almost did it. <laughs> I almost have the solution already, actually. Uh, yeah, teal on the top, purple, yellow, like purple, yellow, purple, red. Those are all right, but these two need to be switched. And I'm so good at Rubik's cubes and sliding tile puzzles and all these things where you these uh these kinds of puzzles. Yeah, this is not going to be a disaster. It's going to be a disaster. I'm really bad at these. <laughs> actually a little hard to control which one gets selected when you change them. Uh, it's gotta be purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. Purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. hopes too high I'm free <laughs> Austin the structure is fallen Move! oh uh, I wasn't ready for quick, for quick time events to suddenly start Actually, had let go of the key of the ah shit. I'd actually let let go of the keyboard. <laughs> Austin, the structure is fallen. Move. Ah. 
It probably sounds silly, but I'm not. I don't really think of WASD as the individual letters that often. So if you hit me with them as quick events, I'm actually like, wait, hang on, what? I think they might be located on the screen based on which one's which, maybe? Yeah, they are. Oh, so that's the better clue. What do those buttons even mean? <laughs> Did I spin? Like... No! I get... Oh. I don't know. It's exactly because of that moment that I can't send Kobe. Nim, this memory will not help us. I know what I lost already. I never wanted that much responsibility, Mom and Dad. I didn't mind watching out for them. I loved them. They made me... lighter. Happy. I don't know if they still would today. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Abril is gone. Oh, that's just, the entire leg is just gone. Isn't that an adult body? Those look like adults, but that's a child. Are, are you make, are we conflating both accidents together now? A hypothetical death of Kobe and the past death of, of, of Abril? The life of a little girl who thought she could do anything and see everything in the world, taken far too young. <laughs> she even believed she would swim one day. Boy, was she ever a firecracker. So hard to keep up with. Kobe was the closest, and she really pushed him. Hey. She did. She was. She was exceptional. What if... She could have been saved. If I had been a better sister, I might have prevented it. I really wasn't there, not even when I was with them, always in my head, thinking about theories and experiments. But that's who I am. That's what led me here, made me the scientist I am today. I had to work so hard, and I still do. And you're still rarely present for the ones you should care about. <sighs> Kobe, I'm starting to realize that now. I'm sorry. That accident was my fault. I should have noticed you weren't home. I should have... Stop beating yourself up, sis. You can't put this all on yourself. Mining stories. The buried. Long before you start working, you learn of all the deaths waiting for you down there. People fall, get crushed, strangle themselves, asphyxiate, bleed out, burn, get ripped apart. First time I got buried, I was 15. What worried me most was not the total darkness. You get used to it as you dig deeper and deeper. Nor was it the fact that I couldn't hear anything. Of anything apart from my own breathing. No, it was the uncomfortable heat building around me that made me crack. I yelled so hard the first time, my voice was broken for weeks after. But I was lucky. I hadn't even fainted when they found me. Even today, I remember the moment I saw the face of my rescuer, Taher Tur, as he appeared, appeared between two rocks. Sweet fell bay. That guy had been in the mines longer than anyone, and he never left a miner behind. After the first accident, he made sure I learned the ropes. A mine. A lifeline. The only way to access whatever's left of water. A mine. A deathly abyss where so many valiant workers have lost their lives. So they have water mines. They go deep under the under the surface to find any sort of water reservoirs that are still left after the oceans were stolen. Parents authorization. Copy Blair Marino. April Blair Marino. After repeated attempts to contact the parents, 
Bellin Marino and Cedric Blair. The medical team has forced was forced to consider Austin, the kid's sister, as competent enough to approve the treatment. So my character signed off on the surgery because the parents just were absent entirely. Shit's fucked. Are those bodies the right size? I don't know. If they're proportioned right for the age or not. I don't know. Oh well. So he straight up lost his leg. And maybe damaged the heart? Whereas she took se 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 severe in internal injuries and brain damage and probably died relatively early. What can I find around here? We'd asked Artemis to bring her with us so many times. No was always her answer. Avril and I were explorers. No place or space was too tight or too high. We didn't accept that things could be off limits and nothing could stand between us and our next adventure. Whatever you believe, Austin, he could not have stopped us. At night, she faked having a problem with her bike so as to lure Artemis. And when she arrived, we were already on our way into the mine. Even Artemis couldn't have. She had to come along and, well, be there when it happened. When the rope broke. That was fate. Destiny. Whatever you call it. sure what I'm looking for. Oh, I heard it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is, this wasn't here. I know I had to do what I did, but was it the only option? Your leg was gone. They had to operate quickly to stop the hemorrhaging. Your condition was critical and the doctors couldn't do anything unless they received a new heart. And Avril's was fine, so I had to. Austin, stop holding yourself responsible for it. It's fine. You know what? I'm... I'm better for it. I would have followed her in life a couple steps behind. And been happy with it. In a way, Avril was better than me at everything. She would have been an amazing lieutenant or even a general. But once I had her heart inside me, I changed. I had to prove to the world I was worth it. That she didn't die for nothing. And my leg can't be an excuse for any shortcoming. You made the right decision. Now you have to make peace with it. Abril, I wanted to save you so much. Instead, I had to kill you. Oh, Austin. I was already dead. My brain had gone. Go now, give my heart to Kobe. Wait, what? This... Am I physically gonna drag it? It's the only way to keep him alive. Go. What? Wait, what? <laughs> this is a really weird thing to, to systemize. I don't know, this is not one. of you. Now let him live for the both of us. I don't know what to think about that. That was super strange. That was almost like a cross between press F to pay respects and like a WarioWare game. Of like of all of all thing of all concepts to mix together, huh?
Thanks again for choosing me. Choosing you is uh, still hurting, but here again, there really is no choice to be made. You're the only candidate. But I'll be fine. You know that, right? It's starting to sink in. Austin, I value the life that was given to me. Too much to sacrifice it blindly. Trust me. I do. Go get ready, Lieutenant Blair. What does the armor do exactly? Do one last once over for any miscellaneous interactions around here. Oh, can't walk. Oh, you actually can't go that way. He's actually like the one I have the worst relationship, isn't he? Proportionally? Yeah. Or at least the most negatives. 100% of clues, 92% of puzzles, so there's probably one puzzle left. Yeah, we did that. Lieutenant Kobe Blair Marino. In this situation, the lieutenant is clearly the most suited person for the task. I know, Jenny, but the lieutenant scares the shit out of me every time I know I can lose him. <laughs> You're not alone there. My heart skips a beat every time he leaves on a mission, but I have faith in him. You opened up, Austin. I can see you blooming like the rarest flower. Don't exaggerate, Hayao. No blooming here. You don't see it yet or feel it growing. But it's there. The valves have opened and emotions will soon flow in your veins. Well, let's hope these emotions will be positive. Now enough of that or I'll shut these valves forever. That accident, Austin, it will always haunt me. You know I did everything I could to protect them, right? It wasn't your fault, Artemis. We all carry that memory. It changed us all. It did. None more than Kobe. He became better than everyone, at everything. It's no surprise he was made lieutenant on this mission. Yeah, you're right. The WSA is right. I'm starting to see that now. You look confident, Austin. And you're smiling at me. Am I? Looks like you are. That's <laughs> certainly not the first time, is it? <laughs> Actually, it might be. Oh god. They're all they're all watching me. <laughs> That's really strangely unnerving. They tried to figure out how to make yellow work into this character, so they gave him like a yellow trim, but they didn't want to commit to a full yellow shirt. Oh no, they all kind of have yellow, don't they? He just has yellow eyes. To the point where like almost the the whites of his eyes almost look yellow. Oh my god, he keeps getting creepier the more I, like, get too close and he keeps watching me. This is really unnerving. As they all just keep turning. Alright. Go now, brother. The end? 
So yeah, this is episode one. So, uh, I guess much like Albino Lullaby and the Uncertain and the Council and so on. It's, it's always a mixed bag with episodic games. We'll just have to see if another episode ever actually happens or not. Because <laughs> that's always the question. I think to this day, and it's been... I think it's been a few years since I covered The Uncertain, and even more years since I covered Albino, Albino Lullaby. And, I sh yeah, I, sh I, should, I should check, but last time I checked, neither of them have had an episode two yet, and it's been an eternity. Dr. Blair's simulation is completed. She's closer to a breakthrough with the Shatters technology than she was before cryosleep. Her mind's stimulation is outstanding, and her relationships are stronger than ever. She even increased her ability for humor by 1.4%. Crew 121 might do better on Primus Vita than I initially projected. Of course, how other members of Crew 121 fare in their own simulations will also influence this prediction. Next subject, Hayao Mutsami. So each game's going to be a different character, which I, which I got, because this one was called Episode 1, Austin. So I figured that each one will focus on different ones. Is every episode going to be a simulation of just... Cause I, one of the things I was suspecting while we were playing is that this is like a team building exercise. Because there's such an emphasis on getting people to like you and work and cohesion and working together. That it seemed like everything going on in here wasn't so much about the, the mission itself, but more about getting Austin to properly understand and respect and process the people around her. Uh, so I guess there's going to be a... S Whoa. Are there going to be six episodes then? Aren't there five other crew members that they'd have to cover in that case? This might be a long series that they keep making more. We'll see. Uh, I'll be curious to see when the next one comes out and where they go with this and I'd, I would definitely wonder if they uh, I, I find myself wondering if they're going to make one of the uh, Episodes take place on Primus Vita or if they're all gonna be like this series of simulations followed by like and Then it worked out like this or whatever based on the, the stats you got maybe like maybe that, maybe the number, the meters you build up affect the prediction of how well it'll do, and then the game ends. I don't know. It was a little bit weird that they had like it showed these cartoon projections of what might happen on Primus Vita at the very end there, which isn't that weird on itself. But then it had like this big comic book blam written across it. I'm like, that's all right. That's a weird embellishment. This, I guess, this robot has a sense of humor. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching like always guys, and I'll see you next time, and uh, we'll see more of this if it happens, which, I don't know, I've had, I have mixed levels of confidence based on the episodic games I've played so far. See you next time.